<laughs> That's me again. <laughs> Nobody's home right now. It's Sunday afternoon. I'm supposed to get my hair cut tonight. But uh, I just wanted to share this with you. I, this is, this is in, in my books, I have check marks, stars, just uh, two stars. If you get three stars, this is great. This is a two star thing. The privilege of baptism. Th this is so positive, I just got to share it with you. This is exciting. For Yahweh is almighty, for he is good and righteous, now long suffering to all, that those who will, repenting of the evils which they have done, and living well, may receive a worthy reward in the day in which all things are judged. Hallelujah. Wherefore now, begin to obey Yahweh by reason of good knowledge and to oppose your evil lusts and thoughts that you may be able to recover the original saving worship which we committed to huma humanity. For thus shall be, be <clears throat> for thus shall blessings straightway spring up to you which when you receive you will henceforth quit the trial of quit the trial of evils. But every but give <laughs> wow, Marty, come on. But give thanks to the giver, being kings forever of unspeakable good things with the king of peace. Be in the present life washing in a flowing river or fountain or even in the sea with the thrice blessed invocation. You shall not only be able to drive away the spirits which lurk in you, but you, but yourselves no longer sinning and undoubtedly believing Yahweh, you shall drive out evil spirits and dire demons with terrible diseases from others. And sometimes they shall flee when you but look on them. For they know those who have given themselves up to Yahweh. Wherefore, honoring them, they flee affrighted. As you saw yesterday, how when after the, the address I delayed praying for those who were suffering these maladies, through respect toward the worship, they cried out, not being able to endure it for a short hour. Do not then suppose that we do not fear demons on this account, that we are of a different nature from you, for we are of the same nature, but not of the same worship. Wherefore, being not only much, but altogether superior to you, we do not grudge you becoming such as we are, but on the other hand, counsel you knowing that all these demons beyond measure honor and fear those who are reconciled to Yahweh. Amen. Even demons know when people are reconciled and made right with the Father. I don't know what to say, folks. I'm encouraged. I don't. Please add into the comment section uh, whatever your thoughts are and stuff. But uh, I'm just so, it sounds like to me that Clementine was writing stuff of the events that he's seen Peter do. And uh, uh, he's just documenting different things and explaining how and why things are. And uh, someplace else here, it wasn't in this part, but there's several other places, little sections or sentences that he talks about. Uh, don't, don't get high-minded because all this stuff is happening. Be humble and grateful that the Father is working through you and doing this type of stuff. And so humility is something. Uh, but th this to me helps me to see, I ask the Father, I would like to see more things in our town where p uh, deliverances and people being freed of different things. And so uh, I, I just desire that. Oh, and then seeking uh, those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. Now this makes more sense to me why you would hunger and thirst after righteousness, why you would want to walk rightly and obey the commandments that are with us 
and how people are deceived when they are no longer following Yahweh's laws and commandments. I, I just, I'm starting to see this. This is just another perspective that I haven't understood over the years. And maybe it's that time in my life where the Father is answering me because he can trust me with information. See, that's the thing. I'm now accountable for this information. And so uh, I, I've got to live this out and want to uh, do this stuff. So, Father Yahweh, I am so absolutely privileged that you have given and opened up uh, the Internet and opened up all this information to us. You are looking for people who want to seek you and follow you. And Lord, please, I beg of your spirit to help guide and direct me and help guide and direct my friends who are out there, those who are desirous of you, who want to know you, who want to live right, who want to be able to express correctly the truth that the Messiah said and what he shared and how he shared it. Help us, Father, to be able to do that in Yeshua's name. Amen.